Good evening, welcome to um, a quick overview of the Tregony plot demo. We're down at uh, JC and SR Collins's near Tregony, uh, where we've got a number of varieties which we've put through an on-farm trial situation. Uh, what we're looking at is mainly to try and see what the differences in uh, resistance to septoria are and find out and pick out the varieties which are best in this locality. Um, we've had a delayed T2 in, uh, in the spray program, uh, which has then had a knock-on effect to show, which has been you know, quite plain to see in some of these varieties. So I'm lucky to have Ron Granger, who's our technical uh, guru, and um, he's going to quickly run through the varieties so that you've got an idea of what we're looking at. You ready? Good. Right, evening. Um, we're going to run through the varieties now and look at the septoria triticide levels. Uh, as we mentioned, basically the T2 was delayed by 7 to 10 days and we really just want to show what levels of septoria come in in certain varieties and just to show or highlight the better resistant varieties. So here we have Solstice, which is an older variety, as you know, has been successfully commercial for 10 years. Uh, and if you look at the levels of septoria in that, you know, it's very high. Uh, and you know we need to move on from this kind of resistance uh, to better resistance in better newer varieties. Stop. So, when, so Edgar is a, is a German wheat um, which has been sold under Wolfson's contract basically because you know they love the quality of this variety. As you can see, it's a taller German variety uh, with excellent septoria resistance, very good standing power. And on top of that, it has very good fusarium resistance. Uh, so it makes it a very interesting variety for this area. Go. So Crusoe, with its very distinct, very green colour. As you can see, good levels of septoria resistance. Uh, a bit of yellowing in here uh, on the flag leaf, but again, very good septoria resistance. And as we know from 2014, when disease levels couldn't be kept at bay with the later applications of fungicide, Crusoe really stood out last year with its septoria resistance. So Zulu, one of our newer biscuit varieties recommended two years ago, uh, you know, raised the yield by 102 to 102% 102 over 101. A sound variety, good straw characteristics, good disease resistance, orange blossom midge resistance. Uh, no real agronomic problems with this variety and we just think it's a bit like Claire. It actually fits biscuit making, distilling, export opportunities. And the beauty about this is also got the soil bulb mosaic virus resistance, which um, is becoming a bit of an issue in North Devon and certainly other parts of the country. Um, and it's got that resistance from Claire, so that's useful to, to know if you've got that issue. So we have actually got some Mr. Brack here, which many people would consider to be outclassed. It's off the recommended list. Um, the reason we put it in here is because it, it, traditionally it's been grown on very light land, sand lands uh, up around Exeter um, and even down this way and particularly after maize it does exceed, exceedingly well late drilled um, which doesn't normally suit this type of window where we, this was all drilled the 22nd of August, 22nd of sorry September last year so it was went into sort of dust bowl conditions, uh, came out of the ground, rocketed away and uh, in theory, the, uh, the uh, septoria should have actually annihilated this, but it's actually holding up very well. Yeah, as you can see from in here, it does get septoria, but you know, still adequate resistance for on-farm use. Yep, and it's got a nice big bulb berry at the end of the day as well, which is becoming more and more important. So here we have a variety Panacea, which was on the recommended last, last year. It's one of the highest yielding feed varieties. It's a soft feed, um, excellent septoria resistance, as you can see. Um, big ears, big biomass variety like Santiago. Produces big piles of grain with bowl samples as well. Again, this variety has orange blossom midge resistance, uh, but due to the warrior race of yellowrust, it became too bad, uh, too big a risk, I think, for on-farm performance. It's a shame because, as you can see, the septoria resistance is outstanding which would do very well down this neck of the woods but um, unfortunately it's no longer about is that right? Yes. Right let's talk about Revelation. Revelation 
Uh, a lot of talk about Revelation right throughout the UK. It's a very robust variety, eight standing power, eye spot resistance, uh, very good foliar disease resistance with good septoria, good rust resistance. Um, it's one of those varieties which is just, you know, a sound variety from farm performance. Uh, it's a bit like Diego, it's not the highest yielding variety but keeps ticking along 102, 103 percent. Uh, but interestingly, this is a variety which seems to get bigger and bigger but as the years go by. Mm. And the nice thing I like about it is you can plant it early and it just sits and then tillers, tillers out nicely. You can control it from a spraying program point of view if you're on uh, difficult ground, wet soils. Um, yeah, it seems clean. On farm it looks really clean. Yeah. So I think we'll see a bigger market share next year with this variety. Yeah, that's encouraging. Right, next up is a variety you won't see in many places. This is, uh, it's not on the recommended list. It's uh, Lear Oakley Cross, a variety is called Garrus. Uh, it is in Northern Ireland and funny enough, it was the highest yielding variety in Northern Ireland last year in the trial system that we've got over there. Um, and Ron is here to tell us a bit more about it. So it's not a variety available in the UK. Uh, we put it into the trials in the southwest because, as you know, septoria resistance is important. I think it's an interesting variety for this location. It's short and stiff. As you can see, very good septoria resistance, good rust resistance, uh, which makes it a very interesting variety, I think. So we'll keep tabs on this in the next few years in trials. Could be one to look out for in a couple of years' time. Alright, next up we've got Evolution. What's your thoughts on this? So Evolution is our big barn filler. Uh, as you know, last year it stood out in trials because it's a barn filler with good disease resistance. So it has good disease resistance for the rusts. And as you can see, it's you know, a good six for septoria resistance. So what we really achieved is that we've got a barn filler here without the risk of high disease pressures. And I think it makes it a very interesting proposition for most farms. Yeah, and it's, got, it's got a lot of biomass to it as well, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's looking good. That's no, looking right. See what it does when it's uh, combined. When it's combined. Right. Next up is uh, Britannia. This is a new highest yielding group three. Um, it's got good septoria. Looks in, looking all right. What's your thoughts? So with Britannia, we've raised the bar of the biscuit wheat sector to 104%. This really gives you a biscuit wheat what's more, you know, at the same levels as the high yielding feed, hard feed wheats. Uh, my view is, you know, grow this like a barn filler, but at the end of the day, you'll probably still get the premium for a biscuit wheat. So I think it's a big opportunity. It's a bit like Lily in the Group 2 sector. You know, grow something with very high yield, but at the end of the day, you'll have a premium to add to it on, 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 at the end of the day. Interesting variety, it's cross between Cassius and Robigus. As you can see, very good disease resistance for Septoria. No, looking good. Move on. Right, um, about five years ago, um, maybe six years ago, I came across this variety. We had it in trials at Exeter in 2009, 2010. Um, up at Silverton and it was a variety that caught my eye. I, uh, I pushed to get some seed and uh, we brought it down here about four years ago, put it in the trial plots and we had some on farm. It's been the most consistent high yielding wheat in any of the trials that we've done here. We've done, we've got five years data now and it has been the top variety whether it's been sown early, uh, mid slot or the late drilling slot, even though it's as late as the 28th of February. Uh, every year it has been the highest yielding variety we've had on the block, um, beating the likes of um, the newcomers. It is the highest yielding variety of wheat in Ireland. It is an Isterbrack cross, uh, probably people are bored to death when I say it's Avatar, because that is a name, and it is a fantastically good wheat. It's very farmer friendly, you can take it to the early drilling slot, you can take it to the late, extreme late drilling slot, um, and it just seems to produce. Um, looking at this here, uh, given what we've seen in all the varieties below, uh, this is more like a 7, even a high 7 for septoria resistance. It is very, very clean. 
think this really highlights you know the opportunities we have with varieties probably don't get on the recommended list but it's very important to look at varieties in a re regional context and you know this crop looks unbelievable to me it's the star of all the varieties here and i would say it probably be one of the highest yielding varieties again this year yeah. i think it's got a great great promise and it seems to be able to go we can drill it on wet ground we can drill it on dry ground it just seems to be able to cope with the conditions and it gets that from Isterbrac in its, its parentage. It's a uh, Isterbrac crossed with lion um, and it just seems that that clear type lends itself to one being far, farmer friendly variety. Uh, it's easy to, easy to manage as you can see here we have had an issue with the spray timings but it hasn't affected this variety. It has not bothered it. Um, it is still clean, which is which is very forgiving. Yeah. And the other thing, you know, a lot of people are growing, gone into Leeds, which is an Easterback cross. This is far cleaner variety than Leeds, and I think it'll give it a run for its money in most situations in trials. And the thing at the end of the day it gives you is a big round berry, like Consul used to give you. It's a very saleable grain. Mm. So a very interesting variety. Thank you.